What's up guys, Everything Apple Pro here, and after just a little wait, we now have our 4.3.2 untethered jailbreak thanks to the dev team and Ionic. Now it supports the iPhone 4, 3GS, iPod Touch 4th and 3rd gens, and the original iPad. And if you have a tethered 4.3.2 jailbreak, no worries because all we have to do is run Red Snow, and many of you guys have used it before, just run it over your current tethered jailbreak and it will become untethered. Now if you're on a clean device, never jailbroken before, it'll work as well. And this is both for Mac and Windows. I'm on a Mac right now, so no worries. It'll be for Windows and Mac. If you guys are looking to unlock on 4.3.2, considering you have the correct baseband, I'll be sure to let you guys know how to do that towards the end of the video. But okay, we're ready to begin. Make sure your device is plugged in. And you'll need two things. You'll need your 4.3.2 official firmware and Red Snow 0.9.6 RC13 beta. Now it's going to be updated in a few days, Red Snow, to support the iPhone 4 because it's having a little trouble right now. But a few days from now, you won't even have to worry about that. All links can be found in the description, where a link to my site will take you to an in-depth guide with all the links there. But okay, so we're ready to begin. Now, if you're on a Windows PC, I'd recommend right-clicking Red Snow and clicking Run as Administrator. Obviously, I'm on a Mac, I can't do that, so I'm just going to open up Red Snow. And here, we're going to browse for our 4.3.2 official firmware. It's going to process it for just a bit. Okay, so here Red Snow is asking me if I have a new or old boot ROM 3GS. If I have a new boot ROM, I can't load custom logos just yet, so I'm going to click yes. If you don't know how to find it out, just read this. But I know I have a new boot ROM, I'll click yes, then next. And it'll patch the kernel for just a second. Once Red Snow loads, you'll get a bit of options, and all you want to keep selected is install Cydia. Now, if you want custom boot logos, you'll want to select this option, but only after you've gone through Red Snow and did the jailbreak, then open it up again, deselect Cydia, and just select Allow Boot Animations. That's if you want custom boot logos when you're turning on your iPhone or iPod Touch. Now, I don't want that. All we want to do is click Install Cydia if you just want a jailbreak, and click Next. Here, of course, we're going to power off our device and be putting it into DFU mode. And then we're going to click next on red snow okay so next and now we're gonna hold power button for three two one together with the home button for ten nine eight seven six five four three two one let go of the power button and keep holding the home button red snow will recognize our device in just a few seconds and it'll begin the jailbreak process okay so your screen will flash, you'll get all of the, of course, logos of the jailbreak process. Okay, so here we go. Now I'll be back in just a few seconds, hopefully, and I will continue. Once we're back up and running on your springboard, you should now see Cydia if you didn't have it already. I was on a tethered jailbreak, so all it did was make an untethered one. Open up Cydia, and we are now untethered and jailbroken on 4.3.2. So I'm really glad that the dev team and Ionic decided to release this untethered jailbreak so quickly. Thanks a lot. And if you guys are looking to unlock on 4.3.2, read the whole guide down below. And I'll have a little link pointing you to a video that will show you how to fix Ultra Snow on 4.3.2. Other than that, thanks a lot for watching guys. Really hope you enjoy the jailbreak. And don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.